Hello, my loves. Welcome back to my channel. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Jessica Alexandria. I'm the head witch behind Bahati Life Apothecary, and of course, I'm a professional astrologer, tarot, and intuitive reader. It feels so good to have you with me now as we pull charts and cards for the Aquarius full moon. Now, the Aquarius full moon is going to be happening August 22nd, 2021 at 8 18 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. But for those of you guys that know me well, you know that I always work the night of the full moon. even if the full moon is happening that morning. And if it's super early in the morning, you might find me working a little bit before that full moon becomes exact, wee hours of that morning. So it could be a two to three to four day ritual for me. And for those of you guys that are wondering, Jess, what are you talking about when, it's, when you say work? Well, I set intentions, I fix candles, I work oils for my clients, always, always under the full or new moon, whatever it is that we are falling under, it's just, what witches do <laughs> and there's a large portion of my work outside of channeling messages and sharing them over with you guys what i love so much already about this aquarius full moon is the timing of it all i love the number of 818 period and if you are part of my sacred circle tarot school you have seen that we were just recently talking about the energy and the symbolism of the number eight. Now, in the school this past week, this past Tuesday, we dived so deeply into that, the energy and the presence of that number. However, for the sake of this video, I will say that the number eight is connected to infinite infinity, it's connected to abundance, it's connected to cause and effect and karma. What goes around comes around. It's an unbreakable force, an unbreakable, unendable number, and an unbreakable, unendable energy. So as we exit out of something, we're already entering into the next. Something that stands out to me so much with that is the fact that the actual full moon or the, the placement of the moon is at the final degrees of Aquarius. I'm gonna dive into this a little bit more, but I do wanna say that the Sabian symbol of this is a uh, butterfly emerging from a chrysalis. What this shows me and what you guys don't know is that I kept seeing the Four of Swords while I was shuffling the cards. And what this shows me is that with this full moon, there is absolutely without a doubt a break. <gasps> I just realized the Four of Swords is right here at the very base of this deck. Do you see how synchronistic and special this energy has been? So I clearly, you guys, you guys have watched me shuffle. Clearly, you guys, this is giving me break out of the mold energy at the time of the full moon. Now, Aquarius is so significant because Aquarius has to kind of deviate from the norm, deviate from the herd, deviate from the community, the, 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 the place that it was born or for the, the place that it was visiting in order to emerge, to usher in massive, erratic, and radical change. This is what Aquarius is known for. And this eccentric energy that it brings is there to uplift a whole society, to uplift humanity as a whole, right? But the way for that to happen is by doing differently, re-emerging sometimes after a period of darkness. And with this um, full moon happening in the sign of Aquarius in the last final degrees, something is absolutely ending a cycle is absolutely closing and for some of you guys you really have been pulled away from others you've been isolated you've been um undergoing massive internal or spiritual or physical transformation and change and this full moon is the the completion of that cycle where you are going to emerge totally transformed totally transition into this next beautiful stage and you know in your life and I love that for every single one of us so the one thing too that I want to say with this full moon is that as the moon is sitting in the sign of Aquarius the final degrees so is the Sun sitting in the sign of Leo Aquarius is opposite 
And what is so significant and so powerful and special about this is also something that we talked about within the Sacred Circle Tarot School for the sake of the um, quality of this video and people's attention spans on the YouTube channel. I'm gonna keep this short, sweet, and to the point, but in the Sacred Circle Tarot School, we do dive deep. With the number eight card, the strength card within the tarot, that card is actually ruled by the energy of Leo, right? And as the sun falls in the sign of Leo, we are guided to pull from the highest, strongest presence, energy, form in our universe, which is love. How this connects to Leo is Leo actually rules the heart. This, Just like the sun is the center of our galaxy, so is the heart the center of our body. And from that, we want to tap deeply into um, a, a, a vibe, a, um, an aura of higher love, higher love vibration. And this is when we sit with the divine, when we connect with the divine, which it looks like from looking at the astrological charts and the way that the energy is something, how I'm reading it right now, it looks like when you were in this chrysalis stage within your life, this chrysalis cycle, you were spending a lot of time internally asking or seeking questions whether you felt like you were called into that and you took those steps into your own cocoon or the universe kind of backed you into it. You backed you into that cocoon stage. The other thing that's coming through here is the protection of the heart, protecting the heart. Number one, protecting it from information and, and the, the chaotic you know, undercurrent of what's happening in the world as we speak and we don't need to go too far into detail with that because you guys know very well what our current circumstances are at the time of me filming this so there's that but also i'm seeing that for a lot of you guys you on your own personal journeys have been asking pretty deeply probing questions into who am i what do i want what do i deserve why did this happen and what do I want to manifest, AKA what do I want to materialize or exist, right? Because we have the power to call that in. So at the time of the full moon, my loves, I'm truly seeing that those intentions are coming to life. They're really stirring to life. And not only is it something that will emerge, it's emerging now presently. We will see a, a, a big step forward, a radical step forward at the time of the full moon. Mark my words with this, right? So let's go ahead and see what cards are jumping out. Okay, just like that. Wow. Guys, look. Four of Swords, and I couldn't make this up, Eight of Pentacles. Four of Swords and Eight of Pentacles. So the energy of number eight is showing up, absolutely. But what is even more significant and profound, the message behind this, is the fact that Eight of Pentacles is actually ruled by Sun and Virgo, right? So as the sun, which is going to be happening shortly after, well, as soon as the sun enters out of the sign of Leo, it is then going to emerge into the sign of Virgo. Sun enters into the sign of Virgo right after, and then also we have Eight of Pentacles, which rules sun and Virgo. I, as the Four of Swords is sitting here sleeping, I do not feel as though you will actually be in this restful state or slumber state. For a very small majority of you, I think that you will be pulled away from the world and resting, like literally actually resting, closing your eyes, sleeping, or going into a meditative state, which would be very productive for you. For the majority of you guys though, I'm definitely seeing that it's a very active, productive time um, it feels very electrifying is something that's coming through. It feels very life-changing. It feels very solidifying and I feel as though There are some things that you I'm hearing the words you you do not accept moving forward I it's I'm hearing I cannot accept this any longer it was in my chrysalis stage that I kind of processed all of what had occurred this is what I'm hearing, you know, the guides speak. This is not me speaking for myself. It's in the chrysalis stage that I processed all of what I had observed and all that I've experienced. And now that I understand it, I'm going to emerge and do differently, move differently, accept differently, give differently, and be rewarded differently. As I'm saying that, you guys, if you watched my last video, 
um, the pick a card reading, this candle was just popping, especially towards the very end. But I'm not gonna give any, um, uh, what is it called? Like, um, spoiler alerts. But if you watch that video, you'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Yeah, so I just feel like this is going to be a very active, active stage, although the Four of Swords is here. When I'm looking at the Four of Swords, I just feel like you are completely out of reach of people that do not serve you, things that do not serve you anymore, things that you've already let go of that have served their purpose and that cycle has ended, especially with the number eight. It, it's about this energy that you have already relinquished, that you've already let, let go of, it comes back around in the next form. It's already begun, it's already happening. So as you say goodbye to something, and as you're releasing something, especially at the time of the full moon, that energy has already folded over into the next, kind of like a wave. And what I am really feeling with this is this energy of karma, cause and effect, and law and order. This means that what is rightfully yours and what is good for you and what you need to receive is coming into your your reality at the time of this full moon and moving forward. Having said that, you have to release, you have to let go the old ways of the mind, old toxic patterns, old um, people, circumstances, jobs, situations that have tripped you up and kept you in a space, in a, st in a state of lack. Right? If you sat with yourself and you really connected with that Leo energy, the, the center of your heart, you would understand the, the value and the worth of your heart, your love, your presence, your being. That is your identity. That is who you are. And it's going to feel so authentic and so true to you that you're not going to feel like you're walking around with a mask on trying to fake it like you're okay and fake it like things are working out. This is actually going to be real. It's going to be authentically yours. With this Nine of Pentacles, you guys, as the sun enters into the sign of Virgo, I really want you guys to, I'm hearing, this is the guides, this is what the guides are saying. They're saying, take yourself seriously, take your gift seriously, take the reward seriously. This means that if this is something that you're serious about, that you really want to manifest, and that spirit, the universe, the guides have co-created and manifested with you, for you, you have a different level of responsibility that is going to fall on your shoulders. It's not going to feel like a burden. It's going to feel like a gift because it's something that you've always wanted. It's something that you've been wanting. It's something that you're materializing. The Queen of Swords just showed up and the World card reversed. It's interesting that those two cards just showed up because they're saying, listen, I have been a little sarcastic and sadistic with the way that I've talked to others and talked to myself or the things that I've allowed to come through to, um, you know, impede me along my journey. And with the sun entering into the sign of Virgo, and as the sun is currently in the sign of Leo with the, the moon sitting in the sign of Aquarius, the biggest message that I'm hearing and that I'm receiving is this idea of practicing discernment. This means that not everything is for you and that is absolutely okay. okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to call her back. Ooh. All right, so King of Cups wants to show up again, so does Five of Wands. Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, and the Lovers. However, the Lovers cards is reversed. Interesting because Give me a minute. I want to sit with this lover card reverse. Something about that stands out to me significantly. Wow, the emperor just came out. Five of swords, the world card. Seven of swords, hanged man. Nine of swords, queen of pentacles. Hierophant. One thing that I'm really truly seeing that spirit wants you to receive this message is that in order to do better, you gotta, in order to get better, you have to do better. In order to experience a change, you gotta be open to it. In order to manifest this new reality and emerge, as you're emerging into this new reality, as you're emerging into this new life, there are chapters within yourself and chapters within your environment that have to close. Don't feel afraid or slighted by having to say goodbye to that, by clearly saying, listen, 
I love you, I care about you, but what we have is not enough or it's just not good for me and I don't believe that it's good for you either. This could play into anything, you guys. This could be relationships, it could be career. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean the whole thing has to be thrown out. It could be aspects of, of it need to be um, tended to or com um, composted, meaning you take what you've already grown, you take what you've already experienced, you put it in the compost bin, it breaks down over time, and it's no longer the same form. It's a new form, and it gives and serves in a way that is fresh. So the energy kind of like transmutes over, if that makes any sense. This is for your highest and greatest good. Page of Pentacles, tape up uh, Ten of Pentacles. It's uh, I'm hearing it's a short distance from the start to the finish. It's a short difference from the start to the finish. What does this mean? This means that the, this, um, I mean, I was gonna say this cycle that's coming to close, um, but it's not a cycle. The spirit is saying, spirit, spirit is saying it is a cycle. It's a, it's a, it's a, a, a chapter. Um, something again, an, an experience, something that served it again. It served its purpose, but you, you no longer are interested in it. it. Doesn't it doesn't add value to your life? The weight doesn't isn't the same. Um, I'm I'm feeling like I'm feeling like what you are entering into now, especially especially six thousand percent, as sun enters into the sign of Virgo. This is substance like substance. This is. A, a weighty a, a weight that has gold value platinum value it's not something that you throw out it's something that you've invested in you've earned but you protect it and with the emperor here with the queen of pentacles with the higher font with the ten of pentacles with the king of cups ace of pentacles eight of pentacles you want to preserve and to protect this energy because this is solid and stable. You want to manifest this and materialize this. This is rooted in loyalty. This is root, rooted in structure. It's rooted in abundance. It's, it's a tree that is planted that continues to grow and give fruit from this generation to the next generation and that will be a legacy. Um, some of you guys with the hanged man here, there's an idea that needs to come to fruition. There's an idea or a thought that needs to be, I'm hearing like remembered. It's something that you originally thought, something that you re originally received by spirit. And for whatever reason, it was the distractions. Again, what you have separated yourself from in that chrysalis stage, you have totally transformed. Do not allow those distractions to show up and steer you away from the magnitude of the future that is that you're going into. Right, and you. This is where your discernment comes through. It has to come through so clear. And spirit is really speaking this. They say it's sometimes you get attracted, or sometimes you get pulled, or you allow yourself to get deceived and pulled into the wrong direction because there's a side of you that your heart, literally Ace of Cups here. There's a side of you that some the 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 wounded child of you which has been healed but sometimes comfort zones make you make you repeat past patterns spirit says be aware this is where discernment comes through be super aware of what you are hearing and not allowing your boredom or not allowing your doubt or anything like that to suffice to you know to be to to quench your thirst you're going to regret that right um, there are some, that's what I'm seeing with the lover's card here, you guys. That's really what I feel with the lover's card is that in order, you, you make a choice. By choosing one thing, <clears throat> you're saying no to another. So whatever you are saying yes to, realize that you are also saying no to this amazing outcome this amazing outcome at the at the full moon my loves the full moon in aquarius really sit and and stay in in this space of channel this king of cups 
what do I really, really want and need? What do I really, really want to experience? How do I want to feel every single day? It's got to give me purpose. It's got to give me clarity. It's got to give me direction and hope and healing. It can't be something that I'm constantly fighting for. That was what I let go of. Now, what I choose chooses me. What I want wants me. That is what I'm growing here. Seven of Pentacles. I'm allowed, this is what I'm hearing, I'm allowed to make an honest assessment on what I need to relinquish and what I have relinquished and then also choosing what I will hold on to, what I, what I will foster and what I will give my energy to so that it grows. And it, I'm telling you guys, the spirit, the spirit realm, the, the guides are saying it's a short, short journey. Wow. It's a short journey from the start to the end. Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. I love that. Now let's see what's going on with the wisdom of the Avalon, I think. is Pretty sure. That's the name of this oracle deck. What's up, angels, if you guys want to speak to us? All right, what do we have here? Trust, fear, and the high priestess. We have to talk about this. Your only, 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 your only enemy will be fear. Think about that. Your only enemy is going to be your own fear. What does this mean? This means that your own visions that spirit has given you that promise you success that promise you that your heart will be fulfilled are you ready to receive it and are there and if you're saying no are there aspects of yourself that you need to actually embrace starting now as you enter into this new cycle, this new stage in your life that is far more profitable, far, far more secure, far more fulfilling than what you have said goodbye to, than what you have let go of? Are there aspects within yourself that you need to come into alignment with and embrace because this is your new reality, this is your new normal? Spirit is saying, and your guides, the guides are telling you that your fear, if you're not careful, will guide you back to this old comfort zone that they have worked and you guys have worked very closely in order to move you away from. You really want to embrace this space of trust in this path that they are steering you down, that they are navigating you through. And the thing is, is about this is that, especially with Aquarius full moon, you have to know your worth, you have to know your value, and also be an independent uh, journeyer. This means that there are gonna be moments where the sun is gonna rise, the sun is gonna set, and you'll be out in the woods, this is a metaphor, all alone, hearing the, the, the noise, the crickets, the wolves howling, and knowing that that wildlife is not something to be afraid of, but it's something that's mirrored within you. That's what the high priestess understands about herself or about his self, is that the shadow, the darkness that is out there is, is merely a reflection of the darkness that's within. So knowing that, you have nothing to be afraid of because you are powerful and strong in your light, just as you are strong and powerful in your dark. And when you know how to work and embrace both of those things, you will become a very powerful, magical being, okay? Trust me, I was born on a full moon at the autumn equinox. This is the balance between shadow and light, between negative and positive, okay? And that is a very fine line to straddle throughout your entire existence on this planet. But listen, if I can do it, you can do it. And if I have turned this into my power, into, my, um, into a, a, a potion, and a presence that makes me powerful, then you can do the same thing regardless of what is currently going on in your life, what your circumstances have looked like, what your chart looks like, okay? I didn't come this far and experience all that I've experienced to leave you or myself hanging alone in the dark, scared of your own, of, of your own magic. 
definitely not. So having said that, guys, trust yourself. Trust your guides. Trust your ancestors. Trust your higher self and definitely trust the divine. There are visions. There are prophecies. There are things that you have seen, things that you need to call into, that you need to see. And you also need to have a healthy level of discernment because not everything that wants to come in that is attracted to you has good intentions. Okay, and not everything that comes in is is uh, deserving of your time, your energy, especially if you have a bigger vision that is materializing that has to come in, ha has to come into play, has to come into your reality. Remember, you are stepping out of this chrysalis stage, right? You are emerging. If that's truly the case, allow yourself to be comfortable with the idea of being seen. And if that is truly the case, be mindful and aware that people are seeing you, right? The good and the bad. So you have to protect yourself and work very closely um, in alignment with your angels, your guides who are here for you. Okay, the next cards that are jumping out are Chop Wood, which is very Sun and Virgo vibes round and round so i want you guys to be very aware of this and then also loyal heart so there are things that spirit has spoken and whispered into your i'm hearing whispered into your dreams into your dream state and i'm hearing those dreams were actually the mirror reflection of the future of what you have already manifested and i know that's kind of mind-blowing to think that you have either recently set an intention or you are setting intention now in this quote unquote present moment, the rea but the reality is, is that the fact that you spoke it, the, the fact that you are setting the intention for it, it's already exists in the quote unquote future. So it's already here, you've already mag magnetized it, you've already manifested it, you've already materialized it. I know that sounds crazy, but it's a very high priestess, um, you know, higher vibe, vibe type of being energy. But if you don't understand it now, you will understand soon. So having said that, you guys be very careful of repeating patterns. Um, be very careful of overthinking things as something that's coming through. Be very careful. Give yourself some time to um, process, to, I'm hearing to deploy, to deploy your angels, your guides, your archangel just came through, one of the archangels. Um, and to kind of kind of crush out the obstacle, cr crush out the opposition, crush, crush out distractions. Meanwhile, it's this slow, you know, root, routine and rituals that you guys are doing every single day that empower you and invoke what you are clearly currently manifesting. Now, one last card pull that I would love to do for you guys, Spirit, aka the guides, speak to us now and give us clarity in a way that is undeniable for the time of the full moon what is it what is it i heard the word peace 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 um don't be afraid of the material don't be afraid of what we are ready and positioned to give to you. Wow. Don't be misled. That's a message all by itself. Give yourself much more credit, you divinely magical, divinely appointed, powerful being. Give yourself so much more credit. Also, I'm hearing don't be embarrassed or ashamed of your power or your gifts. Things are about to get really juicy, but we knew that. <laughs> they always do get juicy at the time of the full moon. Time for a love fest. Things are not as they appear. That's something also too that's connected to the don't be misled card. Love is never in vain and love in spite of it all. Do you remember at the very start of this reading, I said that love is the most powerful force in this entire universe. It will literally always win. Having said that, my loves, love means, and take this by Leo guided message and vibes, love is courageous and powerful and sometimes it takes a very courageous loving heart to let go of the very things that it is that we want to hold on to the most but we also have an, an innate understanding that you know what we want 
wants us and what is for us will not pass us. So even as we let aspects of ourselves go and aspects of our reality go or relationships or people or things or diet or mindsets or whatever the case is, our, our childhood or past traumas, as we let it go, we are moving from a space of the highest vibration of love that has ever existed in our universe. And having said that, how could you not be blessed? How could it not be rewarding? How could it not fulfill you in some beautiful way, shape, or form? right so i hope that this message resonates i hope that it connects and hits a chord so deep within your being that again it's undeniable and it just makes so much sense and provides so much fruit spiritual fruit mental sp fruit emotional and physical fruit and reward because you do deserve that until next time i will see you guys in my next video i'm sending you all of my love if you need any candles or herbs for intention setting, your favorite witch is here, and you can find her, aka me, mm -hmm. at bahadilife.com, the apothecary, and the tarot school, and all the other things that I offer. All right, I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.